Hello everyone, my name is Pam and welcome back to my channel. At first I intended to just talk through my tutorial, but unfortunately there's something wrong with my microphone. So I had to do a voiceover instead, I hope you don't mind. With the World Cup going on, I've decided to do a Croatia vs France makeup tutorial. I will be doing the Croatian inspired makeup on one side and the French inspired makeup on the other side. In terms of references for Croatia, I just googled Croatian fangirl and I see a lot of images that I would like to recreate. I noticed with Croatian girls, they tend to have their eyebrow quite thin. I'm going for a long straight hair for the Croatian side. And for the French side, I'm currently following Daphne, Mode and the City. I just google French woman and French actress and I noticed that they often wear bright red lips and for the eyes it's quite natural it's either the cat eye or something really really natural so I'm trying to create that look the first product that I'm using is the Vaseline lip tint I received this product from a campaign and I really really liked it it instantly moisturizes my lips moving on to the primer I'm using NYX and I usually apply it all over my face and down to my neck as well, especially when I'm wearing tank top. For foundation today, I picked a spray foundation from Dior for a more natural look. I really like the spray foundation, especially when applying the foundation around the neck area because there's a lot of space and with the spray, you can just spray it all over very quickly. Now I'm just blending all the foundation in. Have to be very careful with the hairline, especially when you're using a spray foundation because it can get all over your hairline. Have to be very, very careful. The next step is the concealer and I'm using Smashbox in Color Fair. I think I apply too much concealer so I'm just going to cancel out with some foundation from Revlon. I'm using the Revlon foundation instead of the Spray Dior one because it's more precise in terms of correction and sculpting. Starting with the eyes on the Croatian side, I'm using the Cream Shadow Base from Illamasqua. And for the French side, I'm using Bobbi Brown Cream Shadow in Cement. And I'm going to quickly apply eyeshadow along the crease with an angle brush. This eyeshadow is also from Bobbi Brown. For the Croatian side, I'm using Estee Lauder Eyeshadow Duo. And I'm blending this with a clean brush. I'm using the Real Technique brush and I've been using these brushes for a long time and loving it still. They're very, very easy to clean. Eyebrow on the Croatian side, I'm using NYX Brown Pencil in Chocolate and I'm trying to create a more thinner eyebrow look with more arch than how I would usually draw my brows because that seems to be the trend in Croatia or at least from the references that I saw. And because my natural browns is thicker, I'm using MAC's concealer to sculpt and make the brown seams thinner. On the French side, it's more natural, so I'm just going to go with my natural brown shape. And I'm using L'Oreal's brown pencil. I'm also using the brow shadow on the inner part of the eyebrow on the French side, again, to create the natural look. Just going to quickly bake with translucent powder from Sephora. On the French side, I'm using the pencil eyeliner in brown for a more relaxed look. I also use the brown eyeshadow to create this feather finish. 
Then I'm going in with the eyeliner and I started with the Physician's Formula Black Knoll just to give the smoky eyes effects to the inner parts of my eyes. Then I'm using a smaller, sharper black eyeliner from Coslux to define the line. I also used the black eyeshadow and tapped that on top of my eyeliner to make sure that they stay all day. And lastly for the eyeliner, I'm just applying the liquid eyeliner also in black to create the wing at the end. And I'm just going to apply powder all over my face and also along my neck. For the creation side, I'm using the Sleek Contour Kit in medium. I'm also using the highlights from the kit and for the blush, I've decided to go with orange and I'm using this palette from Sleek. I have this palette for a long time but I've never really used this colour. It's very very pigmented. I think I put more than I needed. So I'm just going to cancel it out a bit with my face powder. I'm not used to seeing myself using orange blush but I'll get used to it. For the French side, I'm going with something very very natural. I'm using Bobbi Brown's Clementine, which I believe is the natural colour of how I would blush. And I'm just applying my favourite mascara from Maybelline to find a lash on both eyes. For the lips on the French side, as I mentioned, I was going for the red lips look. I'm using Celio. Matte Matte. And for the Croatian side, I'm going for the pinkish nude and I'm using Armani this time. For hairstyle on the front side, I'm going with this natural curl. And for the Croatian side, I'm going with the neat straight hair look. So that's my complete look. Which one do you prefer? Who do you think will win the World Cup? If you have any suggestions, please do comment. And if you like my video, please don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye.